today I'm going to be testing out the Pillsbury Maple Nutty Goodie Bars. For this recipe you'll be needing cooking spray, two cups of semi-sweet chocolate, two cups of milk chocolate, two cups of butter, a cup of peanut butter, a two and a half cups of cocktail peanuts, a half a cup of evaporated milk, vanilla pudding and pie filling mix, a 30 ounce box, seven and a half cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of maple flavoring. Besides the use of measuring cups, the other utensils you'll be needing is a 15 by 10 baking sheet, foil, two pots, but for the purpose of my video I'll be using one electric pot twice, a spoon, and spatula. The first thing we'll be doing is taking our foil wrap and lining our cookie sheet. Then we'll take our cooking spray and spray the foil. We'll just set that to the side. The next step is to turn your stove on low. Add milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, and a cup of butter into the pot. Let it melt and stir occasionally. Once melted, remove it from the heat and add your peanut butter and stir it in. Now we're doing some guesswork. We're going to take half the portion of the chocolate mix and place it on the cookie sheet. And you just want to smear it all over. Once you have all that yummy chocolate all spread it out, it's time to place it in the freezer for 10 minutes. And once that's done, you put it in the fridge until we need it again. While that's freezing, take your peanuts and add it to the remaining chocolate. Whoops. And then stir that in. And then you're going to set that peanut butter chocolate mix to side until we need it again. Now we're ready to make our second layer for the bar. We're going to set our heat to low. Take the butter. And then the evaporated milk and stir those two ingredients together. Once the butter and buffery milk are mixed, you can add your pudding mixture. You want to mix it until it becomes a slightly thick. Don't let it boil. Once it's thick enough, you're going to take it off the heat. Next, you're going to add the two teaspoons of maple syrup and then stir that in. Now it's time to add in your powdered sugar gradually. Once it's all mixed up and it looks like dough, it's time to let it cool for 10 minutes. Now it's time to take that doughy mixture and spread it around on the chocolate that was cooling on the cookie sheet in the fridge. Once that's all spread it out, it's time to put it back in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now that the second layer is firm, it's time to do our last and final layer. We're going to add that chocolate mix of peanuts onto the top and spread it all around. Now that we have the third layer on, it's time to place it in the fridge for three hours. It's been three hours. The final step to do with your bars is just cut them up. And once they're all cut up, it's time to serve them. All right, the three hours are up, and now it's time to try it out. Are you ready? Yep. Likewise, I have my wife with me. Not always. Yeah. Interesting flavor. It's pretty rich. Mm hmm. It's really sweet. What do you expect from two bags of chocolate chips? Two pounds of powdered sugar. I wouldn't let the kids go crazy on this, or you're going to have some hyper kids. Unless you want to do an evil thing and send them back to their parents if you're watching them. <laughs> what? Send back hype. 
hyper kids back to their parents. Do you like it? I mean, we'll, we'll, <clears throat> we'll eat it, but... You don't think we need to make this one again? No. No. It's too sweet. It's too sweet. Don't taste the... Do you still taste the peanut butter? Yeah, I think the peanut butter got lost in there. Most of the strongest flavor I've tasted in it, I guess we're just going to call it the nougat in the center. Yeah. I mostly taste the nougat. So, how many stars would you give it out of five? Two. Two? Yeah, two. Sorry, Pillsbury, you lost. <laughs> That's our review on the, these bars. Definitely need some milk. Yep. I would call the instead of calling these <coughs> bars, I think they're more closer to fudge. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good day!